Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to transfer photos from your iPhone to your Samsung Galaxy uh, Tab S8 series. You can also follow this guide to transfer photos from your Galaxy Tab S8 series back to your iPhone. So on both devices, I want you to head over to settings and then I want you to find where it says Wi-Fi. Tap into Wi-Fi and make sure you are using the same Wi-Fi network on your iPhone as you are on your Galaxy Tab S8. So you can see I'm on TP-Link here. And I'm on CP link here as well. The next step is on both devices. You want to head over to this website, snapdrop.net. So snapdrop.net. It doesn't matter which browser you're using. You want to head over to the site. And what we're going to do is before we initiate the transfer, you want to reload the page on both devices so that nothing glitches out. And there we go. And so all you're going to do is on the iPhone, you're going to tap on. You see there'll be some random a uh, name. This is your tablet. Tap into it. Then tap on here, photo library, or you can do a take photo or video. So we'll tap on photo library. And then all we need to do is we just need to select the photo. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select this one and I'm going to tap on add. And you can see the photo is transferring. You'll see file received here and you'll see ask to save each file for, uh, before downloading. You can have that ticked or not. I'll uh, show you when you want to turn that off. You tap on save. And just like that, the photo has been transferred. If I open it up, there you go. You can see the image right there. Now, here's the thing. What if you want to transfer multiple photos at once? So we'll go back to this page, tap on the icon. And I recommend before you do a transfer again, you refresh the page on both devices. Just good practice. Otherwise, it may glitch out. So we'll tap on the device. And we'll tap on photo library. And what you can do is you can just tap 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 so just tap on every single photo you can also slide across so you can see like so slide across to select multiple and if you slide across and then hold down you can see it's just going to scroll down so if you need to you know transfer a bunch of photos at once you can use that technique to transfer a bunch of photos at once so i'm just going to select uh transfer full photos here i'm going to tap on add and you can see they'll transfer over and you see it asks to save each file from downloading you want to uncheck this then tap on save and you see snapdrop.net would like to download multiple files. Just tap on allow. And what it's going to do is it's going to make it so, uh, you know, transferring the photos will be a lot faster. And now one thing to keep in mind, guys, is when all these files are downloaded, they're going to go to the downloads area. They're not going to go to the photos area. So the final thing I want to show to you guys is how to move the uh, photos from the files to the photos app. So what we're going to do is once everything is downloaded, you want to head over to the files. And you see in my files, open up this. And you can see if I go to images, you will see the images I transferred, they're not showing up. So how do we move them? So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And so what you're going to do is we just need to find internal storage. We see a download. You're going to see download. And you're going to see all of these images. They're going to show up at the top if they don't. So you can also use the filter. So we'll just filter here. And that doesn't seem like it's filtering correctly. So we'll just filter by the date. That's what I was doing wrong. So we'll just filter by date. Tap the arrow. And what this should be doing, as you can see, 719. And you see 718. So these are all the latest files I've transferred. So you just want to uh, long press. And then you can just tap on each one, like so. So we'll just tap on all those photos. And then we'll tap on the move icon here. We'll go to internal storage. We'll go to DCIM and you just want to tap on camera and then move here. It will move now all of the photos and it will look like it was taken from the uh, tablet's camera. So let's take a look at that together. We'll go to gallery here, camera. You can see all those photos from earlier. Those are from the iPhone. And now guess what? They're showing up in the camera area of the gallery application. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like. See you guys later. Bye bye.